What's going on guys, it's time for my first range review for NHL 23. We're starting off here with the Anaheim Ducks and the cover boy Trevor Zegras, 87 overall. I think everyone would agree, pretty obviously, a little bit overrated there. I'd probably have him at 85. Now I do agree with his skilled up zone ability there. If you guys don't know that, because you increase chance to pull off a cross moves, whether it's the Michigan goal or just a lacrosse flip pass. So Zegras should have that, but um, again, I think he's a bit too high rated. Troy Terry there, 86, also probably slightly too high for me. I think I'd have him at 85. Mealy potential, I think, is also way too much for him. Um, I'd go high top six max. Klingberg looks good. They got rid of all his X factors, though, which I don't really understand. Strom there, 85 is fine. Uh, you'll see his medium top nine potential, which is probably a little bit low. But they're over 26 years old. The potential doesn't really matter too much, so just kind of ignore that for the older players. Uh, Cam Fowler there, finally got a bit of a rating upgrade. Drysdale there, 83 medium lead, I think, is pretty solid. Does suck he has no X factors. I feel like any melee prospect should have them. I'm um, looking at the rest of these guys here. I think. For the most part, they're not too bad. Max Jones, probably medium top nine at this point. Um, let's see. Mason McTavish there. High cost of potential. Third overall pick. Looked really good in Hamilton last year. Looked good at the World Juniors. I don't know how he has that medium potential or, again, uh, some X factor to go with that. Uh, the rest of these guys here, not too bad. Uh, Ryan Kessler, I forgot they still have under contract for two more years, but he's on LTIR there, so 700K. I'll show you guys all the goalies after I go through all the players. Arizona Coyotes up next. Clayton Keller there, 88 overall. That's too high for me for Keller. Uh, I would go 87 max on him, uh, probably more like an 86. I mean, he did have a solid season last year, 63 points, 67 games on a bad Coyotes team, but like, I don't know, the three years before he even hit 50 points, I think 88 is way too high, especially when you guys see everyone else in this game that's 88 as well. Uh, Schmaltz 85, that's good. Goss Spare 85, coming off a solid year, the year before that he kind of sucks, so I don't know, I'd probably go 84, and again, the lead potential doesn't matter because he's 29. Uh, check on 85 is probably fair. Crow's 82, I think, is not too bad. Uh, you can see the Coyotes team here is rough. I wonder if, like, honestly, Keller's high rated to make up for just how bad this team is. Uh, you can see, like, they don't really have a lot going for them, unfortunately. So, yeah, they look decent enough. Uh, Boston Bruins here, Brad Marchand, David Pasternak, both 91s. McAvoy, 89. Honestly, I'd have McAvoy not only high rated, but also have him at highly potential. Like, he's one of the best defensemen in the NHL. I feel like EA is constantly underrating him. Good to see, though, they gave him, like, an entire, you know, Suite of X factors there. Uh, Bergeron even. He had a solid season last year and they actually dropped him in rating. I don't understand that. I still have him as like a 90. Now, does have a great contract, of course, and two and a half million now. Uh, Lynn Holman Hall, 86 is, I think, is okay. Kreitch, 84, I think, is also not too bad. Uh, Carlo, I don't know why he's low top four. Should be medium top four, in my opinion. Uh, the rest of these guys, for the most part, you know, aren't too bad of ratings. Looking at the Buffalo Sabres next year, Randall Staline, 88. I think I mentioned before when we're looking at like the best under 23 players. I think that's a bit high on him. Uh, obviously, last season was solid. The year before that, though, was kind of rough. So I personally like to do like a three-year average there. So good season, bad season, good season. I don't know. I don't think it's like 88 worthy. Probably more like an 87. But I might give him a high league potential. Tage Thompson, there, 86, coming off a really good year. I think that's probably more than fair for him. That huge contract. We'll see. You know how that plays out for Buffalo. Alex Tuck, 35. I think is not bad. Just during 85 again, like he's a guy tough to grade, like 33 goals last year, 63 points. The year before that, he put up 14. The year before that, 23. So if you do a three-year average, like he's had two bad years, one good year, i probably lean more like 84, 83 on Skinner. Uh, Olsen there, Cousins not too bad. Cousins should have um, X-Factors. Ocposo there, new captain actually. Owen Power, high elite, 82 I think is fine, but again, I don't know why they don't give him any X-Factors there. Middle stat, medium top six. Good to see he's no longer medium elite. I'd probably give him like low elite, I think. Any top 10 pick that hasn't quite turned out, I think, you know, low elite's a bit more fitting. Uh, Jack Quinn there even could have a big year with the Sabres. Calgary Flames here. Jonathan Huberto obviously on that team now. 92 overall. Elias Lindholm, 89. I think I'd give him elite potential, even though, again, it doesn't really matter. Kadri, 88. So, so I was saying Clayton Keller. Kadri's the same overall. Even though he had more points last year and he had more points per game. Uh, the year before that was probably about similar to Keller. He plays center. I think he's got a better defensive game. So, again, I think the Keller rating's too high. Uh, Weir here, I think, is actually too low rated. I would probably have him at least 87, probably more like an 88. And they don't have his new extension yet. To think him and Jason Robertson, you'll actually have to add. I've started working on the uh, roster, though, for you guys. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, Russell Anderson there, 25 85, high top four. Definitely got a bit of a boost to him. I think it's fair. Man, Japani as well. To Foley. Hanfin there, I think, could be high top four as well. Uh, Chris Tana, Backlund, Coleman, Shillington there. I think like for the most part these are good. Valimaki no longer high top four, which is good because uh, he had just way too much trade value in franchise. The rest of these aren't too bad. Uh, Kellen Hurricanes there, Sebastian Ajo, 89. Not enough X factors. Highly potential though. Honestly, I think it's fair for him, but I uh, will see if like some of the other guys have it. Like for instance, 
Pasternak and Boston, he didn't. I think, you know, I'd give it to him. Uh, let's see. Svechnikov there. Slavin. Slavin could be a bit higher. Teravine and Pacioretty. Also, two guys. I mentioned this in, like, my top 10 right winger video, but they actually added the skilled up X Factor to Svechnikov after, you know, of course, he scored two machine goals in one season. So I don't know if they watched my video, if they just forgot to have it in, like, the top 10, you know, rankings list or whatever, but good to see that added there. Uh, Pacioretty, of course, out for most of this year, but he's good when he comes back. Burns on the team. Pesci there. Martin Nietzsche, let's see his speed, 91, not too bad, honestly, he could be even faster, uh, Kokinemi, 83, low lead, I'd probably have him a bit lower rated, but keep that low lead potential, uh, the rest of the guys here, Jordan Stahl, I think they downgraded a bit, Jake Gardner there, it's tough, he's always so injured, Seth Jarvis now higher rated, um, looking at these guys, I think, you know, pretty good range there for Carolina, uh, Patrick K, 93 overall, Chicago Blackhawks, definitely too high rated in my opinion, um, I'd probably have him more like a 91, with obviously sick offense stats, not great defensive. Seth Jones, 86, isn't terrible. Um, it's about right. I'd probably have him like 85, 86. Taze, 84, also isn't too bad. Uh, Domi, 83. Last year, he had 39 points in, what is that, 72 games. It's probably more like an 82, in my opinion. Uh, Jay McKay, Tyler Johnson, Athanasiu. Athanasiu's speed, only 90. Okay, they did him dirty. He should have like 95 speed excel. Uh, Connor Murphy here, only 81. He's actually one of the better defensive defensemen in the league. You can see he's actually got, you know, solid D awareness, shot block, stick check there, 87s. I think he should be higher rated than that, though, honestly. Uh, Radis potential has gone down to low top six, which is good. Caleb Jones there. Lucas Reichel, low top six. That should be medium. Chuck there, medium top six. That should be, like, medium top nine, probably. But uh, Blackhawks aren't too bad. Now, next you guys are the Carter Avalanche. Nathan McKinnon there, 94 overall franchise potential. Same goes for Caleb McCarr. Uh, I would say well-deserved for both. Honestly, maybe make McKinnon 93 and have McCarr as like the best player on the Avalanche. Franchise potential, 23 years old. He's going to be an absolute god in franchise. Uh, Ranching here, 91. Definitely should have high league potential like Aho. Uh, like I said, Pasternak should too. Let's go 89. I think it's a little bit high for me. Um, how many points did he have last year? 59 and 51. I mean, yeah, like the last two years, he was around a point per game just under. I don't know. He's probably more like an 88. Uh, Devin Tays, 88, should have more X-Factors. Samuel Girard there, 86, I think it's a little high. Nachushkin, though, a big rating boost to him. The guy's D awareness actually right now, good 2A forward, so that's good to see. Byram's an 85 out the gate, which I think is a bit high for him. I uh, only played 30 games last year. Did play some playoff games too, 9 assists there in 20 games, but 21-85 medium lead. He's going to become like a 94. I think uh, this is already too high for like versus, plus it's going to make him stupid good in franchise, so we got to lower his rating. Um, Eric Johnson, 84, might be a tad high in him. Manson, 83, is fine. Lekin, 82, isn't too bad. New hook there with medium elite is going to be a good player. Rodriguez actually had a solid season last year. Comfort, 82. Uh, let's see, Cogliano still pretty quick there, 90 speed. So, yeah, not too bad. Darren Helm, 88 speed. Again, getting older, so I think that's respectful. Next, you guys are the Columbus Blue Jackets. Johnny Gaudreau there, 90 overall, medium potential. I think you can make Johnny Gaudreau, honestly, a 91 after how good of a season he had last year. Uh, Rensky there, 87. I don't know how he doesn't have Heat Seeker, one of the better shooting defensemen. Highly potential for him. Uh, he is only 25, so he's got like a couple seasons left to grow. I don't mind that. Um, should have his own ability, I think. Same with the line in here. Uh, definitely give him one for that 1T. You can see his shot, though. Absolutely incredible. Voracek there, good playmaker. Nyquist, Gavrikov, Roslovich, Jenner, Boquist still there. Mealy potential. Cylinders, medium top six. Eric Goodbranson in 80. That's pretty, I think, generous by EA. Ken Johnson, 79, medium elite. Let's see his hands. 88, Deking. He should be a sick playmaker in the game. Uh, Blankenberg there, another Michigan player. 24, 76. Medium top four. I don't know about that one. Like, the dude going to make the NHL until he was 23. That's probably too high potential, but it's fine based on, like, the rating and age. Um, high skin here, 88, medium elite. He's a guy who might make high elite. I forgot to mention, guys, in the comments section, definitely let me know anything you think I, like, must change. I'm sure, you know, some of it I've already thought of, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Jason Robertson there, also 88, medium elite. Pavelski there, got the big tip for zone ability. Hints there, medium elite potential now. Wow, he was medium top six before. I usually make him high top six. Sagan there, 86 still. Esalen Dell, Jamie Benn, Suter's not bad. Gryanov, medium elite. That should be low elite. I don't really understand that one. Nathan Marchment, one of the best fourth liners ever, I think. Colin Miller, Faxa there. Glenn Denning, uh, Harley there, medium top four. Can't believe they give a first round pick for this guy. Most of the Dallas Star ratings are pretty solid. Uh, Dylan Larkin here next, 89 overall. I think I mentioned this before. Love Larkin. I'd probably have him as like an 88. I think that's a bit more fair. Side of their 87, they've actually added some X Factors too. So again, not sure they watched my video or what it is, but I'm going to say they added back at you. I think they also added 
Unstoppable Force and Truculence. I want to say all they have is send it and stick them up. When they originally released like a top 10 right hand defenseman. Uh, Bertuzzi there, Perron, Cop, Peronic. Uh, Peronic might be a tad high. Raymond there, 84, medium elite. I think it's you know, pretty fair for him. Zadina still has medium elite, which is definitely too high. It should be low elite potential. I think the rating though is fine. Uh, rest of these guys, for the most part, I think, you know, look pretty good, honestly. Edmonton Oilers up next. Connor McDavid there, 95 overall. I think McDavid should be higher rated and he should have higher potential. I'd make him like Drysaddle medium elite. That is that is gross. Uh, Drysaddle should at least be high elite and definitely, in my opinion, should be medium franchise. What the heck? Only one year left to grow too, so it's not even that big of a deal. McDavid should be a 97 high franchise, in my opinion. So let's see. Nurse there, Nuge, Kane, uh, Clefbaum, Barry. They got rid of his passing X factors, which made him really good in franchise. So should be a bit more realistic now how he plays. Uh, Hyman, Pulyarvi. Pulyarvi should be a little lead, I think. Yeah, model there, high top six. Interesting. Let's see. Anyone else kind of standing out here? Um, I know, I don't think he's on the NHL team yet. Philip Broberg, medium top four. Uh, he was a high top four, I believe, before. Florida Panthers here, guys. Barkov, 92, medium elite. I think, you know, Barkov could maybe even be a 93. Kachuk there, 90 is probably fine. Ekblad, 89. Reinhardt, 86. These look decent. Uh, Verhage, Bennett, Montour, Lundell. Again, I think medium elite prospects should have X factors. Forsen, I think, could actually maybe be a bit higher rated. He played pretty well for the Panthers there. Uh, Colin White, I don't know if he's a quite 81. Like, he got literally bought out by the Senators because he did nothing. I don't know. That's tough, I'd say. Balsers, 80s, probably fine. Let's see Gudas. I think he had, like, some of the best strength stats. Yeah, 94 body check, 91 aggressiveness, 88 strength. Usually, like, top 10 hits in the NHL, I believe. So, um, Florida Panthers ratings aren't too bad either. Kopitar here, 89 overall. Low franchise. Doughty, also 89 low franchise. I'd say Kopitar is better than Doughty. I feel like Doughty's probably more like 87. Fiala there, 86. Honestly, after the year he had, 85 points, 82 games. And he was 40 and 50 the year before, 54, 64. I feel like he could have been 87. We're going to see them give him some X factors. Philip Deneau here, of course, should have great face off. 86. Could probably be higher, honestly. Adrian Campe here, 88 speed. Could probably be faster. I have fellow Arvidsson there. Mikey Anderson. Trevor Moore, I just saw the season last year. Um, Alex Edler, 82. That's not too bad. Quentin Bythel there, 80 medium elite. No X factors, though. Velarde medium top six. Uh, looks like Turcotte's probably in the AHL. Minnesota Wild up next. Kaprizov there, 91 overall. I think that's underrated. I think Kaprizov should be like a 92, and I also think he should have high elite potential. Zucrell there, 86, I think is fair. Again, it's tough for guys that like randomly pop off like him last year, and then like the couple years before that. I guess the year before was actually pretty solid. The year before that was just kind of average. 86 makes sense. Spurgeon there, 86, could probably be a little bit higher. Uh, same with Brodeen, honestly, one of the better defensive defensemen in the game. Happens a two way, but that's fine. Dumb Erickson Eck. Boldy, 84 high top six. I think he's going to be nasty. Maybe even make Boldy a medium elite potential. Uh, Jordan Greenway there looks good. Tyson Jost. Sam Steele. He didn't get re-signed by the Ducks, so it should probably be low top six. I think a lot of times you have to kind of like take the context of a player into factor when you're doing range potentials, not just, you know, what they've done for you. Marco Rossi, 76 medium elite. He'll probably be a beast. Uh, Montreal Canadiens. So there's something surprising here, guys. Uh, first off, Suzuki, 86 medium elite. I think that looks good. Toffold there got some X factors. Matson, their best defenseman after trading Petrie for him. Dad not on the team. Dvorak, Gallagher, Duran there. Uh, medium elite potential, but he's 27, so it doesn't matter that much, but still a bit strange. Monaghan now on the team. Kirby Dock there, high top six. Obviously made a lot of moves this season. Um, Paul Byron, let's see the speed. 87. A little low still, I'd say. 87 there. Uh, Barron's got medium top four potential. I'm just going to show you guys this right now. Carey Price is semi overall in NHL 23. So this is basically saying that EA thinks he's never going to play hockey again. And they might be right. Uh, definitely out for this year. So I had like a tough time deciding what to make the rating for him. Because I knew he'd be staying out a year. What do you make the rating? Um, it, it's really, you know, tough to say. So I think this is probably the right move, honestly. As probably better odds that he doesn't play hockey again than he does. Which is really sad to say. But uh, yeah, when I saw that, I don't know. Made me feel old. Made me feel a little bit sad. You know, Canada's glory for all those times. Uh, National Predators up next. Roman Yossi, 93. Send it. Zone ability, no take to tape, which means he's not going to produce enough. So add take to tape to him, make it his zone ability. Forsberg there. I mentioned for such a cup, he also has the skilled up X Factor now. So again, I don't know if someone watched the video or not, but a lot of things I pointed out um, were changed here in time for the game's official release. Matthew Shane there, 87. I mean, last year he had 43 goals, 43 assists. He popped off. Ekholm still solid. Granlin. McDonough, for some reason, still has a ton of X Factors as an 85. I don't really understand 
why he gets so many, but like Johansson 85 gets zero. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, Favreau medium top four. I think they have medium elite for a bit. Need a writer now on the team. Tolvanen still medium elite, which makes no sense. Uh, Jano there. Tomasino medium elite does make sense. Uh, Glass, their low elite, that's a good rating potential for him. And next up here we got the Devils, Dougie Hamilton there, 88 medium elite. He should have some X-Factors, Jack Hughes, 87 high elite. Hate his uh, rating, but at least he's got a good potential, some sick X-Factors. Jesper Bratt there, Nico Hishier, Severson, Palat, Graves, Sharangovich there, Mercer. I mean, Andreas Johnson just got put on waivers, so I don't know. I feel like 82 is probably high. If he's 82, I don't think they're putting him on waivers based on his salary. He's probably more like an 80. Uh, Hal and Marino there. Miles Wood, McLeod. I mean, I think, you know, for the most part, these aren't bad. Next here, New York Islanders, Matthew Barzell coming off a fresh extension, which you guys can see they have actually added to the game. $9 million there for the next eight years. His speed, 95, Excel 93, agility 90. So he's going to be quite, quite fast. Uh, Pellets, 37. So kind of weird, Ryan Polak, known for like the hard slap shot on the Islanders. He's got a 90 slap shot power. Pellets here has got a 93. He was in the All-Star game and did the slap shot thing, but I think that's because they had like nowhere else to put him. He's not like a skilled guy at all. He's a defensive defenseman. So um, yeah, that's kind of a weird one. Dobson there, I think honestly could be high top four, if not also 86 overall. Lee, Nelson, Romanov. I feel like Romanov 83 is probably a little bit too high. I think I'd go 82 for him. Um, look at the rest of these guys here. Not too bad. Wallstrom, maybe a high top six is a tough one. He hasn't really shown too much, but he also hasn't been terrible. Uh, Rangers here, Panarin 92. Fox 90, I think, honestly, make him a 91, make him high elite. Zimanejad there, 88. Again, why is he low elite? I don't know. He's 29, so luckily it's okay. Kreider 87 is actually around where I'd have him. Again, he's a tough guy to judge. 52 goals randomly last year after never scoring. Did he never score 30 goals before? Yeah. He never had 30 goals, and all of a sudden he popped off at 52. So really tough to uh, you know grade a guy like that. We got the new captain there in Truba. Uh, Alexi Lafreniere there, high elite. I'd probably go medium elite for him, make him an 82, just... Hasn't really shown me enough yet, you know, in his first couple seasons in NHL. Kako, you know, I think that's probably fine. Krasov there. Yeah, overall, I guess the Rangers' ratings aren't that bad. Ottawa Senators here, obviously Brinkett, of course, that huge trade of Chicago. I can't wait to see how he plays on their team. Thomas Shabbat, I think should honestly be like 88. Giroux there, tons of X-Factors. Kachuk as well. No zone ability for him, though, which is kind of nuts. Even like Shabbat, 87. Bastion's got a few. Stutzel there, elite potential, no X-Factors. Uh, Norris, 35. I'm surprised he's rated below Batherson. 55 last year and 66. Batherson had, I don't know what that math is, 44 and 46. But, you know, Norris plays center. I think he's better defensively. So I feel like they should both be 85, both be 86. Joseph there, obviously, they added last year. Branch of medium lead should not be medium lead. Uh, he should be a medium top four again. A lot of these potentials, like, they just kind of gave the player when they were a prospect, and they've never updated them for whatever reason. Uh, could show you there on the Flyers. They're going to be their best player this year once he is healthy and playing. Ellis looks like he's probably staying with the rest of the year, but Ellis is an 86 when he's playing. Sucks like he's got those injury issues. Sandheim there, D'Angelo, uh, Ivan Provorov, Kevin Hayes, Connecting, Fairby Atkinson, JVR. I mean, <laughs> Rissalino Elite Potential is funny. Cam York, 81, medium top four. He should end up being pretty decent. Honestly, the Flyers' like, uh, ratings potentials aren't that bad. Bobby Brink, 75. Based on like you know Ken Johnson, Owen Powers' ratings, and how Brink played last year, I feel like he should be a bit higher for assists, 10 games. At least like a 77 or something. Um, rest of them, I think, aren't too bad. Pittsburgh Penguins up next. Crosby there, 93. Malkin's a 90. Latang, 88. Gensel, 88. Gensel could maybe even be an 89. Nice to see, though. Schneid zone ability. Brian Rust, 86. Raquel, 85. 40 points there in 70 games. I don't know about that. He's probably more of an 84. Petrie, Dumoulin. Dumoulin's finally 83. They finally gave him a bit of an upgrade. Thank God. Uh, Ty Smith, that's probably a bit too high for him. Uh, should be like an offensive guy, 81-82. Kapanen there, puts the speed on him, 93. Peterson, Carter, Zucker. I mean, yeah, these actually look not too bad. Killing here has low top six potential, which honestly at this point probably makes more sense than medium top six. I know in mine I had a medium top six, and I think he got a little bit too good. Tio Meyer here, best player on the Sharks, 25-87, medium elite. 87 speed though, even though the guy's actually quite fast. Uh, he should have 90 plus speed there. Hurdle, Carlson, no x for Carlson's a little bit of a joke. Uh, Couture, Barbanov, Lindblom. Let's see. They got Vlasic, Terrell, Elite Potential. Sharks team is going to be interesting this year. I don't, and when I say interesting, I mean I don't think they're going to be very good. Um, Thomas Bordalo, 20 76, medium top six. He had a solid season last year. Five assists in eight games in like his you know short NHL stint. I could see him being like a 78 off the rip. Uh, Merkley here is fast, 90 speed. Seattle Kraken up next. Oliver Borstrand, best player on the team. And of course, they got him for basically nothing from the Blue Jackets so they could afford that Goudreau contract. 
Um, Everly there, Schwartz. I was going to say, the Kraken have no x Factor. McCandlow got a couple. I'm not sure what made them choose him. Uh, I know he was like at the NHLPA event. Yanni Gord also got a few there. Um, so yeah, whatever they decided. Alexiak there. Let's see his strength stuff. 93 strength. He is 6'7". Justin Schultz, 81 now. Jeez, I feel like Schultz could probably still be an 82. Veneers, 81 medium elite. Obviously, a big part of that team. Um, Shane Wright, I think, is still on Kingston. St. Louis Blues up next. Tarasenko there, 88 now with some X-Factors. O'Reilly there, zone ability, uh, quick draw, 94 face-offs. Kyrie, 87, medium elite. Same with Thomas. Extended at 8 million. I mean, I'm curious to see how these two dudes, you know, grow for St. Louis because 8 million for them both is a lot of money. I feel like they're definitely losing one of O'Reilly or Tarasenko after this season. Probably Tarasenko. Uh, Buchnevich there, Shen, Krug. I mean, so far these are actually pretty good for the Blues. Uh, Letty, I think, is a little high. Should probably be like an 82. Sod, Scandella. Um, honestly, yeah, like these aren't too bad. And then you got the Tampa Bay Lightning. They have Hedman as the best player on the team there, 93 overall. I would say Kucherov is the best player on the team. He should be a 93. Um, Hedman probably should be a 92. I think Yossi as well is a bit too high rate at 93. Like, they should both be 92s. And then uh, Makari, like the solo, 94. Stammer there, 90, I think, is fine. Could even make him a 91. Like, the dude popped off last year, 106 points. I don't know. I feel like he's kind of got an unsung 106 point season. Uh, point thirty nine, I think's good. Kaloran, Sergeyev, Chernak, Hagel. Hagel, I think's a little bit high. They're eighty four for forty four points in seventy seven games. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, Sorelli there should probably be like high top six. Uh, let's see. Nick Paul eighty one. Nemestikov back on the team. I feel like the ratings for the most part are good. Seabrook, of course, they have just under contract. Maple's up next. Matthews ninety four overall, medium franchise potential. 97 rest shot accuracy, 97 offense awareness. He is going to light up the league, I think, win a lot of Marisha shards, not only real life, but also in game. Uh, Martin Grant, honestly, thinks underrated. He should be 91, maybe 92 with high lead. I put him on par with like the Ranchtons, the Ahos, the Pashanaks, those guys. Uh, Morgan Riley there, Tavares. I think Riley 88, I would say Shabbat's probably better than Riley, and they have Shabbat worse, so that's an interesting choice. Uh, Tavares 87. I feel like that's a bit low for Tavares. Like, 76 points last year, 79 games. 87. They have him worse than Clayton Keller. The dude plays center. He's solid defensively. Good leader. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I think he should be at least an 88. Uh, Nealander there, 87. I think probably good. Giordano dropped him rating a little bit, but I think that's fine. Especially the value they got him at. 800k for the next two years. Muzzin, Brody. Bunting there, 83. is probably fine. The potential is kind of uh, mean, I think. Kerfoot, Hole. Uh, Liljegren, finally, not medium lead, medium top four. Constantly, I'd be changing that. Sandin high top four, I think's good. Yarn Kruk there. Um, honestly, yeah, I think these uh, least range look solid. Vancouver Canucks, JT Miller there, 88. Uh, I think that's pretty good for him. Maybe even 89. Quinn Hughes, 87. I think solid. I'd give him a bit more, you know, passing X factors. Peterson there, 87, high elite. I'm not sure if I'd still have Peterson as a high elite. Probably medium. Ekman Larson, 85. It's around right. I'd probably have him, like 84. Besser Horvat, Garland, all 85s. Guy of 83. It's fine, maybe like an 82 for him. Myers probably more like 81. Uh, but Cole's in there, 81, medium top six. Same with Hoglander. For the most part, I think these Canucks range are actually pretty good. A lot of times, obviously, I feel like there's a bit of a you know home team bias because I think the scout that does these ratings is from Vancouver. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights up next. Petrangelo there, 89. Stone 89 is definitely underrated. The best two-way winger in the game should be at least a 90, if not 91. I uh, should have higher defense awareness, I think, than 91 as well. And after him, you got Jack Eichel here, 89 overall, 25 years old. I would still have Eichel with high lead potential. Um, he's had some injuries things. He's in that combo with the guys I was mentioning there with the Marners and the whatnot. Theodore there, 87 overall is not too bad. March 36, Stevens 85, a solid season. Smith, Carlson, Martinez, Phil Kessel. I'm curious to see how he does on Vegas. Uh, the Vegas reigns here aren't too bad. As I say that, Nolan Patrick, I mean, I feel bad for him because of injuries, but... He should not have mainly potential. I think it just makes it unrealistic, like the value they could get trading him. As well, I think it'll probably make his growth unrealistic, so I would definitely go low lead for him. Uh, the rest of these guys here, Shea Weber, you can see they got that contract now on LTIR. Washington Capitals, Ovechkin 92, franchise with his shot. 94 wrist shot. Matthews will probably be winning most of the Marisha shards in the sim. Carlson, there's a 90 again. I think slightly high, 80, 89, more offensive. Kuznetsov, Wilson, Backstrom, not on LTIR, because you know he could maybe return this year, but if not, should be playing the years after. Orlov, Brown, Mantha, Oshi there. Oshi still has five X factors in 84. Again, this is carried over from last year. I don't know if it's an oversight, if they think he deserves five X factors. It doesn't make sense for me. Kind of like the Ryan McDonough. I feel like X factors, you should have more of the higher rated you are, and it should like kind of go away as you go lower, unless you're like super unique player. Um, Gustin here, 81, is still way too high for a guy who barely made a team. 
Um, looking at the rest of these, fair, very defensive defenseman. That's not too bad rating potential. What's Hagelin's speed? 89. Again, not terrible. So overall solid. Winnipeg Jets here, guys. The last team. I don't know. This has to be an error. Cal Connor here, low lead potential. I feel like he's well deserving of medium lead, if not high lead. Uh, Shifley, Wheeler there, Morrissey. I think Ehlers is better than Wheeler at this point. Uh, Ehlers should be like an 87, if not 88, with Wheeler being like an 86. Uh, Morrissey should also probably be a little bit lower rated. Uh, Dubois should have elite potential. Let's see, the rest of these aren't too bad. Gone 81. I mean, I'm fine with it, I think. Uh, Appleton there, DeMello. DeMello should be like a low 80, like an 81. Perfetti's got elite potential, obviously, which is good. Uh, okay, so yeah, overall, I think the ratings, like, so far need some work, for sure. I'm gonna have to spend some time fixing them, but uh, they're not as terrible as I've seen in years past. As I say that, the Gibson 90 overall is way too high. Uh, even Stoller's 82, I think, is too high. Arizona Coyotes, these aren't that bad. Uh, Boston, I would give Swayman elite potential. Other than that, though, I think them being the same range, okay. Um, Buffalo here, I think those ratings are fine. Again, Ben Bishop's LTIR. Calgary Flame, I think those are solid. Hurricanes, I don't think these ratings are too bad either for the goalies. Mrazic 81, Stalock 75, that's fine. Avalanche here. Yorgi Frank, who's both 84, I think probably give the edge to Yorgi because they said he's going to be the starter, so 84, 83 makes more sense. Uh, Blue Jackets, 85, 81 is okay. Dallas here, Ottinger, 86, immediately potential, so finally getting some respect on his name. He was like, I want to say he was a low starter to start at NHL 22. It sounds crazy like thinking about it now, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. I remember thinking how dumb that was. Wedgwood there backing him up. Uh, Red Wings here, Noljevic, Huso, both 85s. I think that's fine. Um, Oilers here, Campbell's an 86, Skinner 79, medium starter, Smith immediately potential for some reason. I think Skinner could actually end up being like a solid goal in the NHL. We'll see if I'm right about that, but like when he played last year, he looked quite good for Edmonton. Uh, Florida here, Bobrovsky 88, Knight 84. I think Bobrovsky's slightly high, and I think Knight should have high league potential. Basically, I want like the kind of goalie controversy to start earlier in franchise with Florida. Like they're gonna be like, oh, what are we gonna do with these two goalies? Um, LA Kings here, Peterson 84, quick 83. I think those should be swapped. Quick played more last year, and I think he looked better last year. Uh, the Wild, Flurry 87, probably fine. Gustin there, high starter. He is 24, so that'll actually help him, I think, you know, become a starting goalie. Uh, Jake Allen there, Montembeau, I already showed you guys Montreal's goalie situation. Uh, Saros, 89, could honestly be a 90. Lankinen probably should be more like an 80, 79. Wasn't really that great. Uh, Blackwood, Vanacek, I think should probably be like 284s. Uh, Bernier is fine. Islanders, I think Sorokin, 88 is good. Could maybe make him an 89. I think he's very good. Varlamov, more like an 85. Uh, Rangers, Shashurkin, could be a 93. Franchise potential, though, is crazy to see for him, so that's cool. Halak backing him up. Uh, Talbot there, Forsberg, I actually really like those ratings. I think they did a good job. <laughs> this one's a joke. Carter Hart, 85, highly potential. The dude didn't have a good season last year. 904 save percentage, 13 wins at 3.16 goals against. The year before that, he was 3.67 with an even worse save percentage. Um, for me, I make hearts, I probably go 82, maybe 83 with medium potential. Right now, he's going to be like an absolute stud, probably carry the Flyers, when really, it should be like a bit of a controversy, like if they're going to keep him or something, or if they're going to pay him. Uh, Jari there, 87, DeSmith backing him up. Sharks here, Kakin 85, Reimer 84. I feel like Reimer had better numbers than Kakin last year. Uh, it was very, very similar, okay. Probably both 84s, I think Kakin 85 is too high for me. Uh, Grubauer coming off a terrible year, but I think he could bounce back, so those look okay. Blues here, Bainton 85, Grice 80. Uh, Bainton's numbers were a lot better in the playoffs, so I think 85 is fine for him. Vashilovsky 94, obviously an absolute stud. He's only got 90 points, though. He should have 99. I think I mentioned that before. Maple Leafs there, Samsung 85, Murray 83. So they're like a true tandem this year. Uh, I think they should be the same ratings, and I think they probably should both be <laughs> no more than 83s, maybe both be 82s. Also, too, Samsonov should have elite potential. Like, I don't know, like, when you do the ratings, if Samsonov's 85 elite potential at 25 years old, the Washington Capitals would not let him go for nothing when they literally hold his rights in RFA. They chose to, like, not, you know, offer him a qualifying offer or anything. Again, I think logic should play more of a factor. Uh, Demko there, 89, looks good, but no X factors for an 89 goalie is strange to me. Uh, let's see, Vegas School Knights, Leonard, 86, obviously missing most of this year. Uh, Brassois, Hill. I think Logan Thompson should have higher potential than that. Medium starter. Looked quite good uh, when he stepped in last year. Kemper should probably be like an 87. 
Uh, Lindgren backing him up. Jets there. Hellebuck. I think that's fine. Same with the Riddick rating. So, yeah, again, those aren't too bad, guys. Um, I guess the next thing I can point out some, like, prospects for you I think were interesting to me, whether it's, like, way too high or way too low, the potential. I guess the first one here, guys, Dylan Hollow and the Condors. Now in the game, 77 overall, medium lead potential. So, he's going to be an absolute stud for Edmonton. I think I had him as, like, a 74 medium top six or high top six. Uh, started out at NHL 22. A lot of, like, high price for him so far. I think the medium lead potential is probably fine. And I feel like Oilers are going to be a powerhouse in franchise. On Belleville here, guys, you got Jacob Bernard Docker, 22, 79, medium top four. Lassie Thompson, 76, medium top four. Now, he never grew a franchise last year. Hopefully, this year he'll grow a bit more. Uh, Bridgeport here, Cholowski, medium top four. Dude's been all around like the last couple seasons. He should be low top four max. Uh, Calgary Wranglers, I love the new logo here. Matthew Phillips, they gave high top six too. So I actually like this a lot because he's supposed to be like a pretty solid prospect. Had a good AHL year, I believe. Yeah, what, 68 points, 65 games. Really good, honestly. But he's only got a few years left to grow, so they need to give him the high top six. Also, I think he should be higher rated. Um, Pelche, 2178. How many points did Pelche put up? 62. Phillips here put up 68. So yeah, why aren't they similar rating for similar production with Phillips being a bit older? I don't understand that. So Phillips should be like at least 77. Uh, Zeri there, that looks good. Um, after them with the Charlotte Checkers. Denisenko there, 2277, medium top six. Taponiemi still medium top six. Ryan Suzuki here in Chicago, 2175, medium top six. He's another guy. Usually wouldn't grow. We'll see if that changes this year. Uh, Bench from there on the Cleveland Monsters, low top six. Uh, I don't really see anyone too crazy. New team here too, Coachella Valley Firebirds. I love this logo. It might be one of my favorite logos in hockey. I think uh, just a big, a big fan of like the Phoenix there. Cole Lynn, high top six. That's, I think, a bit too high for him personally, but uh, that's all right. Carter Eagles here. Martin caught the medium top six. They actually downgraded Shane Bowers to medium top nine. I feel like he still could have been medium top six. It would have been fine. Uh, the Red Wings here, Berggren, medium top six, 96. Should become decent. San Valeno there. Uh, Hiroshi's also medium top six. Hartford here, Matthew Robertson. Should not be medium top four. This guy was always like way too high rated. Second round pick was in juniors for a while. Like a low top four max kind of for him. Uh, Silver Knights, course check there. You got the Hershey Bears, Henrik Borgstrom. Probably low top six. Again, glad to let go by the Blackhawks. Uh, Johansson, Alexi should also be low top four. They often get like kind of too good. Um, let's see, Tyron in there, shout out to him for X-Tech. Uh, Lavelle, Yolanin, I think last year they finally fixed his shot there. The only here is actually a pretty decent prospect now, opposed to before, and I believe last year it was absolutely terrible. Flyers AHL team here, Tyson Forster looks decent. Manitoba Moose, Hanola, 21, 80, medium top four. Alex Turcotte, 21, 78, medium elite. Elias Anderson here, high top six, he's way too much. He should be a medium top six, if not a low top six. The guy hasn't really, you know, turned out into the player we thought he would be. Uh, Bruins, unfortunately, really nothing to comment on there. Uh, Rochester, Clegg should be low because he's been moved around. Judges Paterka is actually a solid prospect. He should be medium top six. Um, Rockford Ice Hogs here actually look decent. San Diego Gulls here um, also not too bad. Yulevi should be low top four, though. Again, a guy who's like young and been all around the league already. Should have like low potential. Um, Eklund there, 1997 medium elite. Uh, let's see. Springfield here. Uh, you got Martin Furk, slap shot. 88 power, that should be a 95, like not even exaggerating. Uh, Tampa Bay's team, really not too much to talk about. Texas here, Delandria, Will Butcher in the AHL in 80. If you're in the AHL, you probably shouldn't be in 80. I think you're making an AHL team, so Butcher should be like a 78. Nicholas Robertson here, 77, low elite. Dara Chensev there, medium top six. Abramov, low top six. Uh, so there's the Marlies. Tucson here, Soderstrom, high top four. Timmons, medium top four. Not too many years left to grow, but he actually ends up being pretty decent usually. Alexander Holtz there, medium elite, foot, medium top six. Same with Senish in there. Looks like Scranton here, Samuel Poulin, Alex Nylander, no longer medium elite, so that's, that's good to see. Um, I feel like that's not too bad. Now, in regards to HL goalies, guys, really isn't anything too interesting except for this guy here, uh, Pyotr Kochikov. Hopefully, I said that right. 2375, medium elite potential. I don't remember him being in the game last year, and if he was, definitely don't remember him having medium elite potential. So, um, that'll be an interesting one to see. I definitely gotta like, kind of look at his stats more to decide if that's you know, warranted or not. Uh, Sawgard here, 71, medium starter, 6'7". Could end up being an absolute beast. Now, I'll show you guys some of the top prospect ratings here as well. Just quickly going through uh, junior leagues as well as European leagues. Neighbors there, low top six, kind of a joke. He already had NHL experience. Gunther, though, still has medium lead. Kidding Ghoulie should probably be high top four. Olin Zellweger there not being medium top four is also weird. Like high top six for him when he's like an offensive guy. Usually they aren't just on like a bomb pair or anything. Uh, Stan Coben there, a bit of a ratings boost. Obviously had a great last season. And I was next guy here, I wasn't actually sure if they had him in the game yet or not. Gavin McKenna, if you guys haven't heard about him, 14-year-old who got exceptional status to join the WHL. 
At 14, I've never heard of that. I think that's a first. And his first ever game, the dude put up four assists. At 14, played against 19 and 20 year olds. Like, that's insane to me. Now, the only bad thing is, I think he should probably be highly potential because the dude made the WHL at 14, put up four assists. Like, I don't care if they even were sitting some of the older guys. He's still playing against 17, 18 years old. You know, like, three and four years his senior. The only thing that sucks is, if I try and edit him, as you guys are about to see here, the game crashes. Every time. And as you guys are about to see, I'll show you uh, later, it also happens with Michael Misa. So, I want them both to be better potential, and unfortunately, I just cannot edit them at all. I know here the Moose Warriors next year, guys. You can see Brayden Yeager, immediately potential, well-deserved. Uh, Matichuk here though, mean lead on Columbus. I think it's a bit too high. Uh, he was a reach at 12. Should probably be like high top four. And now you can see Ryder Korshak here, medium top six, which doesn't really make too much sense to me. Like he was a third round pick. Uh, usually I look at medium top sixes as like, you know, first rounders or early seconds. So should be more like a low top six. I feel like with prospects, just have a system where it's based on where they're drafted because you shouldn't think, you know, more than NHL scouts. And then if like, you know, during their, you know, time in the NHL, they prove you wrong, update it accordingly. So for instance, Ozzy Weisblatt here was a first round pick, same with Nolan Allen. I would have them both higher potential, medium top six, medium top four respectively. Now a lot of people are probably waiting for this one. Connor Bedard on Giant of Pats, 17 years old, 79 overall, medium franchise potential. It's crazy it's already his draft year. I feel like I remember literally having to make him add him into the game uh, when he like just you know joined the WHL. So uh, the way it probably will work if it works like the years past, if it's a prospect's draft year, the rating you make them is the rating they'll be when the draft comes. It's only guys who have like multiple seasons before the draft that actually grow. So right now that means Bedard will be coming out of the draft at 79 overall. Unless with like the franchise potential that might, you know, skew it a bit, I could be proven wrong. So personally, if that's the case, I make him like a low 80 because I want him to be like NHL ready, being drafted. But good to see them, you know, finally respecting them, making a medium franchise. I think when they first made him, he was medium elite and it was just an absolute joke. And as I was editing, guys, I realized I totally forgot to mention the fact that future first overall pick, Connor Bedard, who's got medium franchise potential, has exactly zero X factors. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Kevin Korczynski here, drafted by Chicago, I think 7th overall. Uh, 71 medium elite now, so they got a huge boost to him. Um, even Reed Schaefer here by the Oilers, 65 medium top 6. Yeah, Berkeley Catton here, 16 year old, 62 medium elite. Uh, Swift Current there, Clark Caswell, 16, 62 medium elite. So uh, those guys are getting drafted 2024, I believe. You got Fabian Lysol here on the Giants, same rating potential as before, but he's actually got a picture now. Um, then I think Winnipeg Ice, few players. Savoy, 18, 73 medium elite. Geeky, 70 medium elite. Zachary Benson there, 69 medium lead. Uh, he'll be a top prospect in this year's draft. So that Winnipeg team is deadly. They got Lambos too, 68 medium top four now. So that should help his growth. Uh, before he was a low elite, which I think honestly like made him not turn out that great in franchise. Uh, you guys can see Clark there, same rating potential as before. Brian Offman, 68 medium top six, I believe is a bit of a ratings boost. Uh, Chaika there, Allen, couple solid defensemen on Guelph. One thing I will say in regards to the junior ratings, I think they could be a lot better because I sort by you know rating here on Hamilton. Logan Morrison's rated four below Mysick, even though Morrison was such a better player last year. They don't have his stats, but I think he finished second in OHL scoring behind Wyatt Johnston. Mysick really didn't do that much. I watched them play an entire series against Windsor. Uh, Morrison was the much better player. They're the same age, so you can't even really factor that in. I don't know how they like they do the prospect rating sometimes. Now next year we have Shane Wright with a couple of X factors, which is good to see. I'm pretty sure last year they didn't give him any. Having said that, highly potential for him. I think, you know, he went fourth overall. He probably should be medium elite potential. Now, same goes for Sokoski. He's also high elite potential. I feel like they both should be medium. Uh, Evangelista here, second round pick, was sick in the OHL last year. He should be medium top six. Uh, Strong is there, low top six, makes a bit more sense. Now, next year, I'm looking at Zito, former Spitfire, now on the Ice Dog. Sixth round pick by the Red Wings. I feel like he should be at least a low top nine. Again, I like, like, the prospects that are real to have a better chance to, like, make it through in franchise. Uh, Ty Nelson probably should be low top four. Pretty solid offensive defenseman. Um, off 67, you can see Tyler Boucher now in the game, of course. I think they added him during the year last year. Now looking at Saginaw here, you got Pavel Mintikov, 70 overall, medially potential. 10th overall pick by the Ducks last year. Michael Misa, 63, medium elite. So his rating will go up uh, before he gets drafted, but again, I think he should be high elite. And like I said, I guess I'll just show you guys. If you try to edit him, it crashes your game. Next year, you guys are going to start on you quick. You got Ty Voigt, least prospect, 63 overall, medium top 9. Uh, Sue Greyhound here. Virgilio, medium top 4, 16 years old. Uh, Sudbury Wolves, Quentin Musty. So this is one that's found weird. He should be like a top 10 pick this year. Should probably be mediumly potential. I actually saw him play the other night. Looks pretty good. Uh, Wyatt Johnston here. I feel like after the season he had, should at least be a 68 tie with Offman. Uh, Cooley there's a 70. Johnston should be up, you know, high 60, low 70. If not also high top 6. Cooley could be a medium top 6. 
Obviously, I'm mean, a lot to say here. I think Maggio should be like a low top nine at least. Um, but I mean, probably a little bit biased there on, on some of the Spitfire ratings. And heading over to the Q guys, you got Lucas Cormier here on the Islanders, medium top six, third round pick. I'd probably have low top four, but again, uh, not like the most egregious or anything. Now in Drummondville, you got Maverick Lamaru here, medium top four potential. I think he should definitely be high top six. Uh, he was a first round pick, late first by the Coyotes, but he's a guy they completely just drafted for size. I think, you know, he's going to be like a Logan Stanley-esque um, prospect. Malatesta there, rating's not terrible anymore. Uh, Gosher medium top six, and Zachary Bulldog. Now looking at your winning in here, you can see Xavier Borgo, 69 medium top six. Maverick Gork, 71 high top nine. He should be a medium top six as well. So that's pretty much it for the junior leagues, guys. Again, just trying to point out some of the top prospects. Um, I do want to show you, so Noel Gundler there you can see on Brynäs. Falunda, Edvinson, 75 medium elite. Uh, Soderblom, 69 medium top nine. Red Wings guys, 6'8". He actually might make the team too, which in that case, you gotta really bump his rating. I feel like if you make the NHL team, you gotta be at least a 75. Isaac Rosen here, Buffalo prospect, now actually has a headshot, which is cool. Um, I remember he had some weird stat. I think it was, yeah, his endurance, 67. I don't know why it's still so low. Uh, a lot of times we'll find like weird things like that, which I guess somebody else whose job it was to check it out missed. This is good to see. Vessel Line here, Mama Redhawks now has low lead potential, opposed to medium lead. It was way too high for way too long. Uh, Marco Casper there, Red Wings prospect, 1871, medium lead. Took him 8th overall. I think I made him a high top 6, which probably is more fair because they said he was more of a safe pick. So I think, you know, maybe actually might be a bit high on him, but looks like he'll be a sick prospect. Walner 2, 69 now, medium top 4. Uh, should do a lot better, you know, in franchise than before. Niederback even, another Red Wings prospect. Like we own Sweden, basically. And on the finish league here, guys, you got Casper Hall Tunin, 1769, medium elite on Helsinki. Um, let's see, Kamel there, 1869, medium elite, no X-Factors though. I am looking for Sapkowski. Lambert as well, 1866, low elite. I think that makes sense for, you know, 30th overall pick. Could maybe even make him a bit higher rated though to help out with that low elite potential. Kind of similar to Atu Ratu there. And then finally on TPS here, you can see Yurha Sapkowski, 3 X-Factors there, 78 overall, high elite potential. So same rating and potential as Shane Wright. But again, I think both of them should be medium elites. Uh, Aaron Kibaharju here, 61 medium elite. I think should be a bit higher rated, like at least a mid-60. I'd help him be actually like decent rated when you draft him. And honestly, medium elite, uh, maybe high elite, um, but still, you know, I figured I'd just kind of show you guys his stats there. And so that's pretty much it for my NHL 23 ratings review, guys. Hopefully it wasn't too long. One other thing here on Pleasant, I hope I said that right. Uh, David Cherichek should be here because he hasn't like officially made Columbus yet, uh, but he's nowhere to be found. So I'm not sure how he was in the game last year on this team. And now he's not. He's on the Blue Jackets. You know, he's on the Cleveland Monsters. I actually, like, loaded up the franchise to see if he was on their team. Nowhere to be found, so that's a weird one. And quickly here, too, I'll show you guys. Already starting on the custom roster. Adam Fantilli there. I gave him, like, the lacrosse X-Factors because he actually scored a Michigan. Uh, Sanderson there. Mijkov, Nemich. Uh, Askarov. So, again, uh, we're going to get started here and, you know, try and make a better roster than what EA has given us. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, though, so uh, hopefully you guys can be patient with me. But that's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button. Tons of NHL 23 videos on the way for you guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.